Welcome to my Power Automate or the Power Platform videos. In this video, I am going to explain you how to execute the Power Automate within a Power Automate. So, Power Automate has a feature HTTP request which can be triggered by the based on the HTTP GET or the POST method. I am going to use that feature to invoke a Power Automate within a Power Automate. The HTTP request can be used to send a body JSON format. So I'm going to use the JSON uh, invoke body format to send a data from one power automate to another power automate. The sample which I am creating uses the SharePoint REST API and call the uh, REST API method with a keyword and get the SharePoint result and send it as a response HTTP to the calling Power Automate. So this is the existing Power Automate which I have already. Uh, to learn more about how to create this full Power Automate, I have already created a video. You can watch through my previous video. You just navigate to the MSS Grid channel i have a playlist power platform in that you can see here this is a video which explains you how to completely create a power automate with the full sharepoint rest api so i'm just reusing that power automate i'm going to change that uh, to the rest to the http protocol using uh, Power Automate to call within the Power Automate. So let's start doing it. So to start doing it, what I'm going to do is the existing Power Automate instead of a manual trigger, I'm going to change it. Just delete the manual trigger, add the HTTP request. This is the HTTP request which you trigger on when an HTTP request is received. So when a HTTP request is received, you can specify whether it is a get or the post method. What I would do is, for my case, I would use the post method and I have my own uh, schema. Probably you can use the payload or I can even type my own uh, schema here. In this case, I would just send only the keyword. So the schema would look uh, slightly different. So what do I do is I just use, I can even type here so my schema would take only the keyword and it's a string. So this is the, the payload would look like this. When I say done, it will automatically generate a schema, which is of type string. That's it. So this keyword is the one which I'm going to pass into the SharePoint REST API request. So last time the keyword was from the input text. Now the keyword is from uh, the HTTP request. I'm just passing the HTTP request. The keyword is passed now. So now the HTTP, any HTTP request which comes in, then it passes the keyword here. And finally, I need to send the response as well. I'm adding a response. Let me find the HTTP, HTTP response. No, let me find the HTTP response. Just type the response. You will see the HTTP. Click on the request. You would see the response. And this response, I would always pass 200. And there is no header to be passed. The body is the JSON array, that's it. So it will pass, it will create the JSON array of the search result and I will get the result as a JSON format. So now this uh, Power Automate is created, which triggers based on the HTTP request. So when I save this Power Automate, automatically it generates a unique URL 
you see here this is the unique url which you can uh, invoke this power automate from any program not just the power automate you can just invoke from any program so now the http request is formed i'm saving it now the power automate is ready let me create one more power automate to trigger this power automate so i create a power automate here which is the in instant power automate another power automate which is manually to be triggered i call it as call sp search i create this one which is a manually triggered one here i just specify the input which is the keyword that's it and now i need to add a http request okay so now i am going to call the http request which is the post method i need the url of the uh, power automate which was created before so just go back to your existing sp search power automate and you can copy the url here this is the unique url which it gives you copy that and the request would be to your url so this is the url you should use it copy paste the url so once you copy paste the url then you can specify the body text so the body text you can uh, pass the keyword of the body text so this is the body text which you can see here what i'm going to do i'm going to just form a json of my own keyword and this keyword comes from my keyword text so which is which is the keyword here that's it so whatever the keyword which you type in it is going to send that keyword as a http request so this should trigger the other power automate Okay, and finally, I'm going to just send an email of this Power Automate. So let me send us send email to myself. Result Automate, and I would just get the request. From the HTTP. That's it. So basically, what it does is it would invoke that power automate of the other power automate to search. Okay. So let me invoke this. Continue. And I would type it as uh, mixed reality keyword. So it would start executing it so now it will execute this power automate so hopefully it has triggered here yeah test running okay see here it has already triggered this power automate this power automate is the original sp search which is triggered uh, from here okay so it is now waiting for the response from the other power automate that's why it is kind of grayed out here it is still running let me quickly see the power automate here it is still running here okay now the main power automate is completed and it had sent the response as well this is the response which it had sent and when i go back to the the calling power automate it has also finished and you can see the http response coming back with 200 and the body which with the results of the search result and it had sent an email as well of the search result so now i should have two email one from the automate so this is the uh, power automate which was running the search and this is the power automate which was getting the http request two email has been sent so this is how you can call a power automate within the power automate hope you like the video if you like the video subscribe please subscribe to my channel like it share it thank you so much for watching the video thanks